equals. Participating in school activities used to be a struggle for this student, but then the community stepped in to help. The Port Royal Elementary student's eyesight was so bad, he needed surgery to correct the problem. The vision was so bad it couldn't be corrected with glasses. It ha he had to have surgery. Something about, and, and I'm not an eye doctor by any means, but something about his muscles and his eyes were so bad. They were so thick, if I understood it right, that they were pulling to one side, so glasses would never have helped him. The surgery was expensive, so the school reached out to the community for support. We try to focus on community. We're very family oriented, very community oriented at the coffee shop, and we wanted to we wanted to do something. We want to keep things local, and, and people appreciate that. And and that's what's special about this town, is that we take care of each other. And so that's what this that's what this is. That's what kind of drove this whole thing. Gildardo Lopez had the surgery last week at MUSC and is doing just fine. I can see better. I can read books. The school says they were amazed at how the small town rallied together to help one of their own. We may come from a very small school and we may be in a very small town, but when we come together, we are, are mighty. Um, and again, it's just been amazing to see um, how once we combine together, we put all our powers together, um, we get things done in this community. Hearing about just people in the community who would, who would take the time to do this just reminded me of how special it is to, to live in a, in a small area. And it just represents the heart of Port Royal. At Port Royal Elementary School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District.